Here and that's how I, I was about to actually go into it. So that's going to Trey Songs. I feel like this is uh not none of it is good, but I feel like we can take more of the side of women not being protected because of course Kiki Palmer came out and said something, and at that time I'm assuming it was not jokes, but like nobody took it serious. Yeah, they brushed it off. They he brushed it, it off. Under the they rug. made jokes of how they would have liked it to happen to them. Like, very just like. That's disgusting. So, yeah. Selena Powell came out. That's what's that her name? Right? Yeah, I think. Selena, Selena Powell came Powell's out on. Friend. Well, right. Both of them. Both yeah. of them. Came out on Adam 22, No Jumper, uh, which is like one of the hottest interview platforms ever. If you don't know, it's like an artist platform. They paying you? Facts. Like, what the <laughs> fuck am I talking about? Yeah, you wildin'. That was good. Good shit. Good shit. Give me some. Yeah, so um, she did an interview on. <laughs> on uh, No Jumper, and next thing you know, like all this stuff resurfaced on Twitter or whatever, right? How do y'all feel? Do y'all feel like women aren't being protected in this situation? Because I, I have my my thoughts, and Still. I don't think people want to so agree. That, with me. Feel- so it sounded consensual from the story. To that's me, what I thought. It sounds consensual. That's facts. It sounded consensual because she said she liked getting urinated on. Yeah. So it didn't sound. Some women don't know that they're being. Well, no, I'm not even going to say that. Some women just do not. Care. It's not you're not necessarily degrading someone who wants that, so it's different. But Kiki Palmer did not want whatever he right, was trying to do, right. and I think that's kind of what happened. Is like once this came out, everybody started surfacing that old video of Kiki Palmer, right. and it was like showing like you know, oh, but when she said this, you know, mm-hmm. nobody wanted to but, take it serious. Now they're saying it about this, but again, now it must we're talking be true. about Why? two well known. I don't know what are they porn star? What, what, what do we want to call them? Or something? Only fanners, thotties whole bitches i don't know what do we want to call them however what i'm saying is now they come out but it, it does sound very consensual and it does sound like they'll do it again it, it, they it does tr- sound I like, like they tried to do it again yeah, right like, so it's kind of like now if we're going to talk about just kiki palmer yeah i do feel like people didn't protect her i no, agree she, but absolutely. The thing about it, in so, that very absolutely. clip i feel like she said she said it she said like when i said it's like when a black woman says it like, okay, right. she'll be all right. But then the minute a white woman says the very I can't same believe thing. But you know what's oh funny? You know what's too. funny? Yeah. Kiki Palmer, shout out to her because she articulated herself so, so well, well, even when it first happened. Yeah, and they were shoving there it on the bus. There was nothing confusing the about it. The other girls, it's giving me mixed messages. Did right. he hold you against your will or were you guys and playing and you like right. getting pissed on? And, and that's what like, I, was, I was just like, okay. Like, that was, was the just point like, I was going to go at. Like, the point I was going to go at, it was a chick that was talking on the couch with a other people i forgot her name what was her name i try to look up um i don't know if she's white but she was she wasn't black she was talking on this couch they was having an interview and it was like was like one of the craziest things oh that happened. i seen that Anybody what's her name? name um no she's she's um i forgot but I any, anyway uh but when she was telling the story of like she said trey songs came in there with her um her girlfriend or whatever with his girlfriend or his date and if anybody can pull it up um so i can get the right name right so he came in there with his date and they was eyeing each other or whatever right so make a long story short he had grabbed her and put up against the wall. Like, I mean, we might as well just get this over with. Um, Whoa. Right. Name anybody got a name? Right. And the girl no. was just basically and, like. But the like, way she was saying the story was right. like, she was enthused. Like, she was like, yeah, yeah I just can't do that. Can't but she was like happy. Like, it was all yeah, laughing. Was, yeah, yeah. So what I don't like is like, even though yeah, that's a serious case, right? It's a serious matter. But when y'all having a conversation, it wasn't ser- It was all laugh. It was all like, oh, my yeah. God. Like, she was like. Flattered almost. Like bragging. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's like, yo, yeah. if we're going to, what I don't like, I'm not saying Trey Silence is right in any of this. Not what not I don't right. like is besides Kiki Palmer, even uh, Selena Powell and her friend, they were having a conversation as almost if, it's, if it was like a trophy or something. I mean, yeah. well, I will and say, is, excuse me, weird. those girl on the couch, Selena Powell Birds. and her friend, they were white. And they were okay. white. No, but then also, they were not, white. And, they and were I'm not trying out. to say it like that, but what I'm saying is, I don't know if. Whatever they do in their spare time and that's what they like, that's fine. However, Kiki Palmer, a black woman, didn't like it. And she period. was ready to take legal action. And period. And whether they liked it, that's, that's y'all do what y'all do. But when they, clip, she, one, a woman doesn't like it, it doesn't matter. Some women can say no. I don't give a fuck if 150 bitches I tell saw, you yes. I saw, if the 151 tell you no, you I'll don't do push you one better. No, I saw no. a tweet you that don't said, push no, forward. I'll, I'll do, do you one better. I saw a tweet and I completely agree with this, it said that no means no. Even if you're already in the middle of a sexual act, once the Practice consent it. is taken away, you have Practice to stop. So, you have to have self-control. <clears throat> when, you, when, when a woman gets date raped or she gets too drunk, that's rape when you have sex with her and she did not give you her consent. consent. Being drunk is not consent. That's not fair. You're not yeah. even in your right state of mind. Right. Now, what I will say is this. 
when it came to that situation, it almost sounded like it was planned. She kind of, it was like text messages got released where she said, you know, she wanted to do whatever. So I'm not going to say that when he, when he tried to pee on her, she took the consent away. I don't know. But I'm saying I there mean, are all situations. Said was like, oh my God, you got it in my lashes. Yeah. He was like, UBI. Right. She was like, okay. Right. But there are situations where somebody could take it too far sexually and a person revokes their consent. Right. And it'll make it'll make it seem like, oh, well, you were with it because you were in the middle of it. No, no means no. And whatever happened with Kiki Palmer, she said no. I don't care if she said <laughs> if it was a video or not. It was supposed to be a music video, but it don't well, matter. No, she well, said no. she also said right. that it was sexual intimidation because he was saying inappropriate comments to and her, like, oh, you, you all grown right. now. Like, yeah. What I will say is besides Kiki Palmer, the girls I've seen, Selena Powell, the other chick, I think these bitches dumb. I'm going to straight say it straight up. I feel like a lot of times, like it's times where um you just got to, as a man, we got to have these conversations. And I feel like what happens is we're so used to the woman that are dumb. I'm going to just keep it up, keep it a buck that we try to like go. We try to see how far we can take it with everybody when everybody don't deserve that. And I'm not saying that any woman deserves that, but let's just be real. Like you can see how the conversation was had with Selena Powell and her friend that like, they was just those type of chicks that right. engage in that bullshit. I, I'm gonna be but real. No, but so black or white, because... black or white. There's those type no, of bitches. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so what, what, sure. what I'm saying because is prior yeah, yeah. to that, she did say like I don't know if y'all watched the full clip, but she talked about how literally in one setting she chopped off seven NBA. Players. Yeah, like right. Like, so what I'm saying is like I'm not, I'm not, disgusting. I'm not giving, I'm not giving no excuse to Trey songs. However, I'm saying as a man, I feel like it's starting stops with men, right? right? So at the end of the day, you gotta be able to tell as a man, I suppose to articulate it to my daughter. Like after watching the videos. Like, even though I got my thoughts on it, like, cause girls be goals. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's keep it a fucking hundred. Mm-hmm. But even watching it was just uncomfortable because it's like, yo, I don't give a fuck. I, like, it's bad that a woman even has to feel that that um she's uncomfortable or she can't say no. I'm not saying that you can't leave. I'm not taking nothing. To, I, I, I'm not taking nothing away from that. But what I'm saying is, it does kind of feel bad that you feel like you can't even say no. Right. Me, I might be thinking like, yo, right. say no. If you don't right. like it, say no. But it is right. but instances where girls well, feel like I, they... I, also think, like, I also think people abuse their power. I think that, mm. you know, not. I'm not saying Trey Song specifically, but there's plenty of men who think that because they're in a certain position that they can do whatever they want or that every girl wants to do that with them That's just right. because there are a few Selena Powell's who want to do it with them. That is not, not a few, excusable, it's a right. but that's not excusable. It's not, it's not. And what I would say is I feel that's like right. that's why you got to have the conversation because it's a lot of Selena Powell's, right? And what happens is when you get, I'm not there yet, but yeah. I've seen even on a smaller level, like you get in that position, but it's like so many Selena Powell's that you think everybody's Selena Powell and right. it's not. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's things like, I'm going to be honest, it's things that I've done that it wasn't like, if I look back on it, wasn't the best or I would be ashamed of, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like men... What what goes wrong is that men don't a- accept that. You know what I'm right. saying? But if you Trey did Songz something wrong, is how old? Right, but it's like if you did something wrong, it's okay to be like, you know what? I did violate. I apologize for that. You know what I'm saying? But it's what happens is a uh, uh, something the will happen, and then you will say something back to try right. to make your action right when it doesn't. N- neither right. one can be so right. Let, let, let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. How many times does it take though? Like, okay, I can mm. see if this was Trey Song's first incident with right. some sexual harassment right. allegations it's like, it's like how this many extremes like, do you have to he said learn several he they uh, there was another case where a woman yeah. said I he raped her or something it was a couple. like that it was a couple. And she dropped it, it but we don't know if they but said that's right goes, and this one i think he's still battling in court but right that's now. that's the yeah. goal, that, that's that's what goes with the the the, the she said movie was what i mean but, um me too, me too, me too. Me, what i don't like is right like kiki palmer you know what i'm saying I believe everything she's saying. You know what I'm saying? And I can believe that Trey Songz might have went overboard, right? Mm-hmm. What I don't like is the chicks that's all with this shit. Right. Don't try to double back like, because like now it oh, came you know out and it's like, oh my like, god, I don't yeah, like that when, maybe yeah. he was doing this. Yeah, and it's like, these, these, these right. girls have made their name off of clout chasing. Right. So right. I expect and that's what it's I'm almost saying, like, like six nine, right? But it does trolling. give the it does give the but men it does a harsher, discount. So right, so if I have this, so, the credible people who it really right. But what I'm saying, like, let's say if if it was ten Selena Powell's, right, and one Kiki Palmer, right? If Kiki Palmer comes out and then all the rest of the Kiki, the Selena Powell's want to come out, it's like, yo, come on! Like, I'm not right. saying that he's right for anything, right. but it's like y'all wanted that. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like but the other the other right. women, because there was like two or three more cases he had. You know, they were after Kiki Palmer somewhere, I think, before. So it's one of those things where it's like Selena Powell and them. Yes, they're clout chasing, but those other women, they were getting crucified. So yeah, that's re- that's really back. And I think I really think that it starts and stops with a man. I say that because. One, being your kid's life. Like, after the, me watching the video, I call Amaya. I'm like, yo, like, you know that nobody, if somebody makes you uncomfortable and want to force you to do anything you don't want to do, 
he's not your friend. I say that because a Absolutely. lot of times women, a Absolutely. lot of times women, they think like, they think because somebody their friend that they're going to feel right. bad about saying say no. no. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, it's, and, and you got to, you right. got to, you got to acknowledge that. You can't just say or you can even leave. when right. people are in certain positions, but, people feel like they're not allowed like the, to yeah. say no because they're not. They feel like they don't belong there anyway, right. so they don't want to fuck right. it up. Facts, right. and that's right. my point. It's like, don't and men abuse that. And and don't even, to, even to add on to that, like, for example, my niece, she just went to college. You know what I mean? Like, she's freshman, you know how it is. Like, having that conversation, and, and we talked about this before the podcast, like, do you really have that conversation of consent? And I have to really means, let yeah. her know, like, yeah. no means no, and it's okay to say no. It but are we letting our boys but, know But this. that's what right. I was just about Facts. to go, because I think, like, the conversation really starts from a young, oh, man, the conversation yeah. was really starts from a young age, and I was just talking to Jay and Alex about that. I said I feel like I can't really remember a time where anybody was like, "Make sure you're the guy you pick teaches your son these things," right, or like, right, right, right. or make sure the guys you're dealing with make sure they know. I like you know commend Jay for even having that conversation because I think the conversation are so uncomfortable for men right. addressing it whether it's their daughters are their men. It, it, it was it definitely is. uncomfortable, it's uncomfortable to have it, but. us. But I feel like, like you said, I feel like that is something the men should have been instilling in boys. However, the reason why I feel like that didn't happen because the older generations. And was doing it. But, but they were what, doing it. It was like, what was the saying? Right. They used to say those things. Like, is, you say little shit like, um, Apply if she got grass, or... if she got grass uh, on the field, play ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, she older the crush, she, she older the get we hit. We haven't grass like, what since you're ten. Like, so what? That's disgusting. But, but what I'm saying is, I say little things like when I say hmm. it starts and stop with men is like a lot of us are scared to have the conversation. Be like, you know yeah. what? I've done things that I'm ashamed or not yeah. ashamed of, but that, that I shouldn't do. But I'm not going to commend Trey Songz. But it takes a situation like Trey Songz for you to look at it and be like, damn. Like, my situation was kind of similar. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't rape anybody. I didn't force anybody. But I can see how manipulation is key. And a lot of people just aren't okay with looking at yourself in the mirror. So looking at yourself in the mirror, you should be able to have these conversations like, yo, I was a child. I thought this was okay, too. But what about the fact that Trey Songz came out and tried to defend his actions? But that's what I'm saying. And that's where I think that's 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 where you lost. That's what I'm saying. Instead of of looking at it like, you know what, yo? I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you can't defend your actions, but as a man, you gotta look at yourself and like, damn, yeah, like sometimes because maybe I'm this, smiling. Smiling. this is, in smiling. this situation, she may be yeah. heard, but all right. them other like, come that's on, what I'm right. saying, like, right. so you like, no matter how wrong she right. was, it's like, like how, maybe I was too aggressive. Maybe yeah. I was not listening when I was, you know. Maybe I don't have any self control. Like those conversations. Well, even before, but long, as far critical. as that, like what I was saying, we having the arguments. It's like if she's yeah, it's her nature. She say things over and over that I don't like, and I might explode, say something that she don't like. But at the end of the day, it's my, it's on me for even letting it get that far. So as a man, you got to look at yourself Taking and be like, yo, you know yeah. what? It's things that I've done that I wasn't proud of. And this is one of them. And I got to hold myself accountable. However, either, either I way. do think women need to hold themselves accountable. Yeah, too. of course. However, I because what I will say is like <laughs> I do, because at the end of the day, I feel like, again, it is so unfair to the real victims at hand who did stand up for themselves, who did say no. And it still happened to them. They couldn't control the situation. But when you all are like Selena Powell's and all the women who love to be up under some clout and like, oh yeah, praising how many dicks you sucked and whatever, whatever. It is making it hard for the next woman because you have lack of self-love. It is what it is. That's a fact. Um, so, let's, let's go on to... Um, hold up, I want to say something really quickly. I'm sorry, the girls are on their way up, but I do want to say something on that. Oh, she tried to throw that in because she I was going to get on that ass. Like, <laughs> the fuck is up? Like, Sorry, sorry. It's because the girls, my mom had them up downstairs and... Anyway, did somebody go get like they at uh, the door? They went to Panera now. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Um, so I had a situation when I was 18, and I had never drank before. And my friend's older sister had a hotel party. Now, granted, we had a separate room, and I didn't expect for there to be her sister's friends in our room um they i got extremely drunk i don't know if somebody slipped something in my drink or what but all i know is it could have just been also i was a lightweight because i never drank um they tried to take advantage of me several of them now thank god i came back to consciousness just in time to stop it but when it happened it was almost like These guys were known for getting bitches. You feel me? But I never had any attraction to them because they, honestly, they were cool with my daughter's father. And at the time, we were still in a very committed relationship. He had just gotten locked up. 
And there were so many people who were saying like, oh, you wanted it. And I was like, if I wanted it, I could have just let it happen. I literally came back to consciousness and was screaming and shouting for help. I called the police. I went to the hospital to get uh, checked, everything. And people still were saying, oh, well, I know other girls that did that with them. You know, that's what they do. So you must have wanted it. And I'm like, I didn't even think that I was going to be in that position. So now it makes me question, okay, did all of these other girls want that? Or are they just afraid to say something? And it also upsets me because I'm like, all right, for the girls who did want it, you made it hard. You, I, I don't want to put the, the blame's not on them. It's like, okay, yeah, you made it harder for me, but it upsets me because I'm like, regardless, I don't care how many girls wanted you to run a train on them. I didn't. Right. And I think you ever heard of a, a day, it's called National Gene Day, right? And it goes back to when um a, a, a young lady was raped because she had on like, she looked, provocative uh-huh. she had on like tight jeans and the guy got off because they said she shouldn't have had tight jeans on yeah they said that like That's she insane. almost provoked it right it's and almost like with religion this is a they national say, this is a national day with, now. with religion you know how they say like oh women should cover their their legs to a certain extent or wrap their hair so that they don't um you know cause temptation for the men yeah but it's like that's not fair. We were born naked. You know what I'm saying? That's not fair to us. How is it my fault that I have but, boobs? But for that's that, not before my that, fault. Before that, that's why I say I start and start with men, right? Because at the end of the day, we got to first have these conversations with our children, boy or girl, and not, di- not differentiate the, the two. Don't not separate the conversation. Because a lot of times as a man, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm going to hold myself accountable. I feel like, one, there's no accountability when it comes to men in this conversation, right? Because what I will say is it is. Just being real, it is a lot of excuses. And I'm not saying that those excuses aren't valid because there's a lot of women that just be with the shits yeah. and then want to come back when it's convenient for them. However, as a man, as men, as a man culture, right? We suppose that we are supposed to have these conversations with our little boys and little girls saying, yo, if yes yep. isn't in the picture, yep. it's not right. It's Point not. blank, period. Like, it ain't, and, I, feel like, and that's how sorry, we, I, I think that's how we eliminate it. I do feel like, period. I like, do feel like I'm it started take that, early 100%. on. I feel like uh, boy kids were sexualizing women yeah. so fast like you know i've even seen situations of my friends god bless them that has had so many situations that it makes me terrified for my daughter where i'm seeing videos of boys like keep pressing up on it and she's like nah, no it's okay and they still keep doing it and well, they're what like about, seven. it's almost like, like Do you seven. Remember? it's almost like a thing of like celebration when a boy, boy does it virginity. but that's the problem boys are losing their virginity in middle school and elementary or the school fact and getting that the, the dads, yeah. or it, the, the fact that the dads just, dads didn't Boosie like, just you do know something I mean, like that boy. Boosie said he yeah. lets older women fuck his younger kids because they gotta get paid right. right. like, but what I would what I would ask from a woman from the woman culture right what I would say is please like teach women or young ladies how to like say no. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Please. Because teach. there's women who don't know how to do it themselves and they don't teach their daughters to do it. Right. Like. And, and then it's, it's, it's other women that like, I've heard like, let's not be, let's go back to Twitter days, right? It was times on Twitter when I've literally seen girls tweet, man, he, like I've got cut off because I didn't want to have sex with a girl before. Like mm-hmm. I, she came over, I'm, we chilling too much. Exactly. I've, like it's been times where I've seen girls tweet out, um, if, like niggas be gay. If I say no, Hold up, that don't really she, mean no. That means try she, harder. Like, nah, she, cut the shit out. But like, did she hold you down and fuck you when you told her you're not? No, no, but no, hold up. What I'm saying is, we got to just like we got to hold ourselves accountable of saying like, yo, she need to say yes or whatever it can be. I feel like women should hold themselves accountable of knowing that like, yo, it's women out here that's, that's made tweets like, yo, niggas be gay. I mean, if I say video. no, that yeah. don't mean no, that mean try harder. No, we and can't I, have that. Remember that video has, has, because now views. men get it misconstrued. Now it's like, yo, I right. heard I Shorty say that. So I'm thinking she think the same. Right. And nah. I think it has a lot to do with women being programmed that men don't chase you in these ways that they don't like you. Right. You know what I mean? And I think that has to be another conversation of you know, that's a sex love and issue. sexualization of you does not mean anybody likes you. Right. Like, you know what I mean? And I don't think they have a lot of those conversations with little girls or little boys in in, in, in fairness. Like, so, the you know, and, and just to be real, I do feel bad for some men because I feel like, again, that does happen. Like, a lot of women be with a lot of shit and then a woman who really goes through something comes out with something used, and they start thinking like, you know what? Maybe I did have Facts. a situation and it's not fair because honestly, no, you really was with the shits. Like, you know what I mean? Whether you didn't have enough self-love or self-care for yourself, you still you, was right. with the shit. So and you have to have some accountability facts. for that. And like, you can't sit here and just say, like, oh, da-da-da-da. Now, the women, God bless them, that actually have literally couldn't control the situation, like, 
I feel so bad for them because they do have to be put in these situations where they're not believed because so many women are coming out like I that. I mean, you saw oh, my sucks. situation. You were around. Yeah. like, And then when you got to know me, you were like, damn. Yeah. And then you yeah. got to know them. Yep. You were like, oh, it, it went down exactly yeah, how you said it went down. Do it. But it's yeah. crazy because I even feel like sometimes if you are a person who right. displays sex appeal yeah. or you keep yourself a it's certain like, way, almost it's almost like, you like deserve it. Or exactly, or it's like, or it's like, I'll give you, it's like, oh no, you do do that because you look like you do that. And just off some real shit, I know this conversation is dragging on, right? I had one of my close friends, right? Um, is like a brother to me. And I really had to step back and think for a second, like growing up, my, like one of my friends brought it to my session. She was mad, I will say, but I had to think about it. She just kind of was like, yo, all this nigga does, like he always get, he's like, he gets bitches drunk and he tries to fuck them. And I was about to add And I thought about it and I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. I was actually there at some of these situations where feeding you drinks, keep feeding you drinks. I didn't, wasn't maybe in the bathroom or in the back rooms when it was happening like, nah, like you drunk now and, it, and they pressing down on you. I never knew. But when I did knew, I checked that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I will say it did alter my friendship because I'm like, ew. Ew. Like, you know what Fuck I mean? Like, ew. Here. I'm not like, sure. and, you know? and I was going to add on to that as men Ugh. on a man's side. If you know that you have somebody that's around you, a close circle that is uh, engaging in that activity, you got to check that. And I'll give you an example from freshman year because I had a friend. She was a female. And I remember one night she got drunk. And literally, as she was getting turned and she was feeling it, she asked. She was like, don't let me make any mistakes tonight, right? Cool friend. It was never nothing. And I remember literally it was like six niggas that came to the room. And they knew we were turning up and all that. And I got labeled a, what was it? I was saving a hoe, this, that, and a third, because it didn't go down like that. Right. I mean, granted, after the fact, right. it's and cool. And think about how many times, especially like college situations. Yeah, college that's what I, 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 show, that's nobody cares. I was about to go into nobody that. It's cares. like, what I will say is like, when you know better, you do better, right? But it goes back to my original point. I feel like it starts and stops with men only because like, a lot of times we don't know better, but we're afraid to speak out. Like, it's a lot of situations where I didn't know, but I remember um one time, one of my friends was accused of like raping a girl or like they ran a train or some shit like that. And he had to pull up text messages that show that they was with it. Right. And to that situation, I didn't even understand that running a, running a train on a chick was rape. Like was, I, I didn't even know yeah, that. Right? right. But a lot of times, a lot of men have experienced these situations, but yeah. they're scared to speak, speak out. Up, and it's right. like, yo, my nigga, Say something. And, and that's what I asked about the, judici the judicial system. It's like, okay, if you did something right that you didn't know, can you get it? Like, not get away, but it's like, I feel like if. No, because ignorance is not an excuse. I don't even know how to say no. Listen, in court, in court, in court, no, literally, yeah. in court, ignorance is not an excuse. Yeah, because right, manslaughter, right, right. for example, that's facts. manslaughter. Like, right. I accidentally yeah. kill somebody, yeah. you still got to do the time. Yeah, right. like, right. like, ignorance is never an excuse. And that's excuse probably in court, why men ever. don't speak up because right. they don't want to incriminate themselves. But change your pattern. Even though you don't do it publicly, I feel like. Right. Hold on, because there's some. Hold up, because I think that. I don't like I don't want to necessarily make this all about men because there are women who have tried to molest me, okay? There are women who that have try tried to mess men. There are uh, there molest are, men. Oh, yeah, there, are, there, are, there are women that try to who they have, do. But there Facts. are even worse. There are women who have tried to coerce me into having so sex, sex with, with other their friends or their, their friends. relatives Hell or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. It, I think it just comes down to like right and wrong. Like right. you don't it's consent. It's all about consent. You don't you don't Need, like, I don't want to convince nobody to have right. to fuck me. And if I feel you like don't want to fuck me, understanding consent then that means no. Really the moral because if it's not sides. yes, nah, right. and, and, and also, just like no means no, there's no gray areas with, areas with yes either. Right. right. It's either I give consent or, or I, I don't. don't. Right. Me not saying anything at all is it's not, not a yes. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like, I no. just feel like we got to have these conversations mm -hmm. again when you know better, you do better. And it's like, yo, consent is everything. Uh, knowing these things, we gotta just teach. We gotta teach out the people that's coming up. We gotta yeah. teach them better because right. we like, didn't get taught that. Like, like, real like, rape, like, rape culture is that. real. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. we I'm hear the, the sayings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We see it on TV. We, we, like, we see rape culture and we don't even understand it. But once you know, you right. gotta teach the ones coming up at right. you so yes. they can know. Right. But um, let's now, move so on.